UFC Fight 990 will be held in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand and it kicks off three events in three days leading up to UFC 200. This card is headlined by the 155-pound division as champion Rafael Dos Anjos returns from injury to face former two-time Bellator champion Eddie Alvarez. For the lightweight championship bout, this is a big return for Dos Anjos who's 25-7 who had a big money fight lined up with featherweight king Conor McGregor before he broke his foot. Alvarez, who's 27-4, has won two split decisions in a row over former Strike Force and WEC champion Gilbert Melendez and former UFC and WEC champ Anthony Pettis. Alvarez is well-rounded and can deal with anywhere that Dos Anjos wants to take the fight, but the champion seems to be turned into a more of a striker than a jiu-jitsu artist now. Alvarez's versatility should be enough to get him the belt. Our pick for this fight is Alvarez. For the heavyweight bat of the night, Nelson, who's 21-12, is little more than a heavyweight gatekeeper now. But his right hand will still keep opponents off balance and he looked sharp in handling Jared Drushold in February. Lewis, who's 15-1 and won a contest, has won his last three fights by knockout. But he will find it tough to KO Nelson, who is known for one of the hardest chins in the game. Lewis should have enough to defeat Nelson, but knocking him out will be difficult. Our pick for this fight is Lewis. For the welterweight bat of the night, Joban, with a record of 13-4, was supposed to fight Nordin Talib, who is now injured. So he will get Mohamed, who's 19-0, who is making his UFC debut. Joban has 9 TKO KO wins to his name and is not afraid of a fight, but Mohamed is a little more technical. The big question is how Mohamed will handle this step up to the UFC. Stage fright has gotten the better of more accomplished fighters than him. Our pick for this fight is Joban. For the lightweight bat of the night, Duffy, who's 14-2, is coming off a unanimous decision loss to Dustin Poirier, while Clark, who's 11-3, had the same result against Michael Kizia in his last fight. Both of these men needed a win badly to stay in the running at 155 pounds. They can both grapple and have 16 combined submission wins, that's 9 for Duffy and 7 for Clark, but striking might be the difference here and Duffy has the upper hand. Our pick for this fight is Duffy. For the next welterweight bat of the night, Pike, who's 27-11-1, scored a TKO win over Sean Spencer in February and is one of the most exciting fighters in the UFC and he will bring it every single time. Mina, who's 12-0, is well-rounded and has 5 TKO KO wins and 6 submission wins. But he cannot get goaded into a brawl with Pyle, who will want to keep this fight standing. Our pick for this fight is Mina.